Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So Russell T Davis is back. The David T rumours are bubbling away and the whole collective fan base is really happy. I haven't seen it like this for a long, long time and it is really nice to see. Tonight is a simple discussion of what I've seen heard the current you know fan base how it looks what we think of the show going forward towards the 60th and series 14 our thoughts towards series 13 will there be a trailer this week this is simply a conjecture discussion that's all it is no official news or nothing or anything like that this is me the fan talking to you the fan and join me in the comments below because this is going to be a good one. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it nicely. Ooh, jelly babies. Hey, um, my first thoughts are BBC. I, it, has it got a tinge of desperality about it? To, you know, do they agree with the fans to bring Russell T back? Um, maybe. Like I said in yesterday's or yesterday or the day before's video, I do feel that they needed a man with good level-headedness who has a past with the show and has done well before doing this show. They couldn't have got better with Russell T. It's up there with Stephen Moffat, to be quite honest with you. Um, Stephen Moffat's my favourite, but I think it's wonderful that the man who orchestrated the original comeback with the fantastic Christopher Eccleston and the brilliant David Tennant is back. But the thing is, he's a different man. He's an older man. And if you watch the, some of his shows, which I've watched a couple episodes of It's a Sin last night, he's going to come back a very, very angry writer. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I want Doctor Who to be edgy. I want it to be nasty. I want it to be in your face. I want my gob to hit the floor. I want to be shocked. I want to be surprised. The one thing I do want more than anything in this next generation is the backstory little clues. The vote Saxons in season two and three of Doctor Who that built up to the master. I want the spray painted bad wolf all the way through season one. I want them back. I want the flashes of rose in season four. I want that back. That's the only thing I want. Russell T, I believe in you. You can do anything you want. You know, <clears throat> I wouldn't mind another female doctor. I wouldn't mind. It didn't. The female doctor thing didn't bother me. The thing that bothered me about the, the whole Shipnell era was Shipnell himself. And that's not himself. I think that's his character. I think that's his personality. That's not his fault, but it just doesn't suit to be in a big franchise like Doctor Who. Now, I feel sorry for Jodie because Jodie, I hope she not. I hope to God she knocks it out of the park for series thirteen. I hope Shibnall's given her enough material to really, really blow things out the water. Um, but this current week, since Russell T Davis has been announced. We've seen channels reactivated. We've had people come back to Twitter. We've had people and they're so, so happy. A couple of them have been my friends that I haven't spoken to in, what, four years? Give or take? Because all we did was talk about who. We didn't really know anything personally. They've hit me up and they've come back and it has been wonderful. It's wonderful to talk to them. And it all comes out of the news that Russell T Davis is back crazy absolutely crazy my friend said to me the other day and he isn't a doctor who fan he's more of a love island star wars mainstream fan and he turned around and he said this is like george lucas going back to star wars and saving it i said last never happened he said but if it were to happen he said the russell t davis coming back to who is that big personally myself i think it's towards the lines of barry letts when he came back to Doctor Who and he did a fantastic season with Tom Baker. I forget which season that is. 
You'll have to leave that one with me. I will remember it. <laughs> You'll watch it. will come back to me in about five minutes. Um, but, you know, I feel sorry for Jodie. I do, because I think she's been underwritten and I hope Shibnall does her right. Do her right. She's the only Doctor, for me, that still hasn't had a I'm the Doctor moment. For me. She hasn't... I look at her and she still isn't the Doctor yet. She still isn't the full... The full product yet. She, she hasn't had that moment. Obviously, she's had the moment where she stood there and said, I'm the Doctor, but I don't think that was epic enough. I really don't. Um, it's been really, really understated, this this run of Shibnall. He's really made it bog-standard with a lot of mediocre writing. And there's been three or four episodes where you sat down and gone, they're really, really good. But as a collective seasons, they've been quite poor. You know, there's been backlash over certain over certain things like the Timeless Child off of 55 um, the, the Ragnarok Kalos season finale for season 11 Ryan um, the, the, the over dependence on Grace for series 11 for the future and I'm really looking forward to this is the shock or a mystery coming back and hopefully Russell knows how to sell Doctor Who. When he was showrunner, there was merch, there was books, there was collaboration with fans, he was on TV all the time, and I know in the end it ended up burning him out, but now that he's that successful, I hope he went to the BBC and said, last time I was running Torchwood, Sarah Jane Adventures, and Doctor Who, give me a break, let somebody else take the reins while I oversee it instead of me writing it all the time. I think that's what we're going to get. I think him working with Bad Wolf, which is coming back, which is another fantastic thing. Julie Gardner's coming back, which is fantastic. She's wonderful. Um, there's no official word on that yet, but Bad Wolf is her mainstay company, and they've been working with, um, <clears throat> with the BBC for a very, very long time. But going forward in the future, you know, the bookies have sort of stopped taking odds on Ole Alexander Bean the next Doctor, I'm not sure who the other lady is that everyone's talking about, but the official word is that I've heard from someone that is in the know is saying it is definitely Oli Alexander, and he said the only way they would not announce, not announce it yet, because Russell T was supposed to be announced along with the new Doctor, there was supposed to be like a clip or something filmed for like halfway through series 13 it hasn't happened because apparently one of the major newsprints had got hold of Russell T being the new showrunner so Doctor Who didn't muck about threw it straight out there so I, I don't know what to think about Ollie Alexander being the Doctor it's all more or less confirmed if you have a look everywhere but if they are still casting the Doctor which would be interesting because I don't believe everything that people say to me I don't know who I'd have if it was my choice because I keep going back to Michael Sheen because he'd be perfect, because he's bonkers. You know, maybe we do need another bonkers doctor, you know? You know, because we did have, you know, the fun and bouncy Matt Smith. We had the, you know, the eyebrows of authority of Peter Capaldi. And then we had the, you know, the energy and the madness and the full-on running of David Tennant. And then we had, you know, the northern anger of Christopher Eccleston. And we've also had, you know, Jodie. And, like, again, she hasn't had her doctor moments maybe that's coming in series 13 we don't know but tonight i just wanted to do a, a video on my thoughts over the past few days and how the fandom is starting to change and start to be more positive and it's wonderful it is it's wonderful to see you know um you do see you know the, the typical channels coming out and you know slating it all the time that's because they don't get their own way and unless it's to get one thing straight telly is not made for those people it's them to get attention and it's silly really using people's favorite things against them you know there's people that have been bombasted on twitter bullied on twitter they've had to quit youtube because of the comments and i don't think it's fair it's not fair because we are a, as a community doctor who we are wonderful but in this last five years we have gone really toxic and poisonous but the last week's been fantastic. 
we're all friends back together in the same boat really looking forward to Doctor Who and then somebody said to me in a chat the other, the other day when it got announced everybody's going to forget about Shibnall now and I was just like no they won't they won't He's had, there's people who have joined Doctor Who for this era and fallen in love with Doctor Who with this era. Like, people fell in love with Colin Baker. Colin Baker wasn't the most favourable Doctor back in the 80s, but he was wonderful in the long run. All you have to do is look at the big finish and the TV. Trial of a Time Lord, which I have a box set behind me, is still one of my favourite box sets ever. Ever. I love the do the Sixth Doctor and Perry. Love it. I could you could plonk me in front of the telly and I'll watch it all night. And they turn around and they say, you know, oh Shibnall this and Shibnall's done that and yes, he did. What he tried to do was unique. Did he pull it off? No. Was he the man to pull it off? We don't know yet. He hasn't finished. That's all I can say about that. Am I a Shibnall hater? Absolutely not. I'm a criticiser. You know, I criticised Moffat when he was around because he pulled out some stinkers. Russell T pulled some stinkers. Love and monsters, anybody. You know, there were some stonkers back in the day. But he is the one man I would never have thought was coming back to who? Russell T Davis. If you'd have read A Writer's Tale, which I have, and the BBC... <clears throat> truly, truly put him through the ringer. And I'm, what I'm hoping for in the future for the 60th, that somebody books the best restaurant in Cardiff, kidnaps Russell T and Christopher Eccleston, lock him in the damn room, give him the best meals going, shut the doors and leave him for 24 hours. Get it sorted, because he needs to be in the 60th. The bitterness towards the pair of them has gone enough, has gone far enough now. It's in the mainstream. Everybody knows what's happened. And personally, myself, this whole Eccleston going, it's just a job. If it was just a job, you wouldn't be at the cons. If it was just a job, you wouldn't be doing Big Finish. You know, it's a paid job. Yeah, obviously, it's a paid job. I'm an actor. I do paid jobs. I turn up as an extra. I'm. I do paid work. That's a job. Yes, but I wouldn't be there unless I loved it. That's the difference between acting, performing, and doing. There's two there's totally different things. Are you telling me that somebody turns up at Tesco because they love it? They don't turn up at Tesco because they love it. They turn up to Tesco because it's a job. That's the difference between acting and performing and everyday jobs. So don't believe a word he says when he turns around, it's just a paid job. It's not. He's already a multi-millionaire. To be quite honest with you, I, Chris Reckleston, the person, I'm not too keen on. But <clears throat> he's been hard done by by the BBC and I think there was a misunderstanding that should have been sorted and should have been done better but for the future somebody needs to sit those two in a room even with Julie Gardner sit him down and get it sorted because it's gone beyond the joke now you know it's running the old school down into the dirt I mean with everything else with John Barrowman and Noel Clark this is the one thing that could fix it you know to keep Noel Clark in the bin keep him out of Doctor Who John Barrowman he's ruined his own legacy as far as I'm concerned he'll never I don't think he'll ever be in Who again I think the damage has been done but Chris is still hanging out for hope there the fans are clamouring for it and if he does love it just do it what are you waiting for seriously you know and Obviously, as soon as Russell T got announced, you know for a fact David Tennant was on the blower. I'm in the 60th. I want to be in the 60th. You know for a fact that phone call has already happened. Will Matt Smith be in the 60th? I don't think he will. You know, he's my doctor. He's my favourite doctor. Um, will he be in the 60th? No. He's got Game of Thrones. He, the thing is, he left Doctor Who because he saw Doctor Who as a stepping stone to something else he did fall in love with Doctor Who before he moved on and he, he, his career hasn't really panned out the way he's wanted it to so the next big thing that he's got now because he's gone from Terminator to The Last Night in Soho which is coming out on Netflix which I'm really looking forward to um, he's got the Game of Thrones prequel 
so hope I don't know we'll see what the what the timeline is for the 60th for maybe getting a cameo out of him but I highly doubt we will but the rumours I'm hearing at the moment currently is that Russell T's been talking to Paul McGann about the 60th because apparently there's been little touchings around Big Finish maybe prodding people for the 60th I wouldn't mind seeing a 10 and 8 team up for the 60th I really wouldn't mind I think Paul McGann needs another episode at least um, you know he had that wonderful cameo in the uh, Night of the Doctor where he finally got his regeneration um, but can, I've got to say I'm looking forward to the future it's going to be beautiful under Russell T it's going to be edgy and it's going to be angry he is an angry angry act, uh, writer at the moment actor. he's a really angry writer at the moment I've been reading quite a bit of his stuff with the um, writer's tale and I watched a couple of episodes of it to sin it's not my cup of tea but as a writer as a actor and you know I like to write things and writing it from there I can see that the, the, the change is there you know you can see it and the future is going to be awfully bright is it a chance to go backwards because this is the first time with Doctor Who in the current era usually goes from new writer to new writer to new writer we've gone from three new writers to the old one so it's going to be something different it's uncharted waters it's exciting and as a fan I'm not joking I was sat last night for a good 25 30 minutes where I had goosebumps thinking of a Russell T Davis written Doctor Who episode again something akin to the waters of Mars oh wonderful wonderful episode love that one but what I, I really hope that everyone who watches this have a bit more possible you know a bit more positivity because it's been wonderful to see this week okay um, that was my little short rant on the future of Doctor Who I know I went on a bit of a tangent and I don't usually like taking my videos over 10 minutes but um, I've got to say I had to say something something had to be said because this news is massive it's huge for Doctor Who because at one point I was getting physically upset not knowing the future of my favourite TV show the lack of news, the lack of merch it looked like it was on its last legs and I know with Russell T it is going to explode when it comes back um, here's hoping for a trailer this week um, and words going around is it could be Friday that's not official that's word from I think it was Doctor Who Production News which is Twitter, I will put down below if I, I really want a Halloween episode um, I've heard that for weeks and months now that it's Doctor Who episode 1 will be the Angels episode at Halloween that is going to be superb if that's true I will be buying a bucket of popcorn and that will be going on repeat when that comes back um, so have yourselves a wonderful evening tonight uh, it was a simple video of me just going on a little bit of a rant but if you like what I do on the channel please hit the like button tell your friends about my channel I want to try and start building a community of you know, pos uh, you know positivity help and support you know towards people that have got Doctor Who I had someone message me on my Twitter the other night how they're enjoying my videos and if you're watching hello um, and thank you for all the support and um, yeah so hit the subscribe button if you'd like to continue to support the channel and uh, have yourselves a wonderful night take care